computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to add the relative file path for an image to your HTML website. Without further ado, let us start the video. So in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer, the application which is Sublime Text. We can use other text editors if required. For this tutorial, we can now go all the way down to the dock, go to Launchpad, search for Sublime Text, open up the application, and now we should have the preloaded code in from the previous tutorials. If not, go to File, Open, search for index.html, and then come back to the tutorial. And now we can increase the size of Sublime Text. And now we are ready to work on an image for the relative file path. So we can bring back the images that we had for the previous tutorial. We see it on screen. So now we have the image. We can remove the JavaScript from the previous tutorial. Command S to save. Go all the way down to the doc. Go to Finder, Documents, My YouTube Channel, Tutorials, HTML Tutorials. Go to Index or HTM. Right click Open with Safari. For the moment, we can minimize Finder. For the moment, we will need Finder again. So, we have a website with an image and a title. Now we are trying to change where the image is in. What folder is the image in at the moment? Nothing. So we can go back to Finder, decrease the size of Finder. Likewise with Sublime Text. So now we can see everything on screen. So. We have a folder called HTML tutorials, and now we need to add another folder. Let's say images. If we have many images, we would store them all in one folder and not in the folder where we have the style sheets, the index or HTMs, the other web pages. So we need to organize the website before we were to upload to host the website. So, Click on the image, drag and drop into images. Go back to Sublime Text Command S to save. Go back to the web browser, right click, reload the page, and where is the image? Vanished away because it is not in the correct file pathway. So go back to Sublime Text. Go to the code that says image source image.jpg. And now before image, insert slash images slash again command s to save go back to the web browser right click reload the page and what do we have we still do not have the image go back to sublime text command s to save go back to the web browser right click reload the page and what do we have we have the image available now because the whole project is stored in HTML tutorials. However, the image now is in the folder dot images. If we were to add this to another folder, then we would say folder name slash again. Go back to the web browser. Right click reload the page. And now we have the image on screen because the image itself is in two folders, images, folder, and now we have the pathway on screen from Sublime Text. And that's why the website is now able to pick up where the image is located at. So we can quit Safari, quit Finder, quit Sublime Text, that's it with this video. I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Thanks for now.